Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, today is what? Wednesday, the 18th of September? Miles is cooking some lunch. We were going to go out and get some. We, we, got, we got in the mood for some wings, some buffalo wings. No, you ain't going to find no Hooters or Buffalo Wild Wings in Badak. And it was kind of like... So Miles decided, well, you know, I'll just cook something up here. So she made some uh, chicken strips. And now she's cooking some french fries. There goes my diet. Boom. <laughs> Shot out of the sky. Ah, that's all right. I'll get over it. Yeah, they call, they're calling for rain to start at 4 p.m. So, I got tired of looking at our laundry basket. And it's getting full. So, I just did a load of wash this morning. Put them in about... Uh, 5.30, 5.30 a.m. or 0, 5.30. They were done about 6.30, 7 o'clock around there and then I hung them out and they, they've been sitting out there the whole, this whole time. Keep in mind, it's been very humid. Very humid. Cloudy. Yeah, so I'm just going to go check to see if they're dried or not. I was out here about an hour ago, and they were still a little damp. The thicker shirts were still a little damp. Not bad, not bad at all. I think they would pass being dried. So what I'll do is, I don't mind doing it, man. We both got to do our parts around the house. Uh, Mucky, that cat ain't going to bother you. Yeah, there's a cat across the street. He loses his mind. Hey, he's got this deep hate for cats. And, I mean, I've seen dogs that don't like cats. He hates them. And I, I have no idea why. We I mean, don't have any. It's been a chill. Pretty chill out this afternoon, hasn't it, Miles? Been pretty chill out this whole set, this whole morning. Yeah. What you putting in the microwave, Miles? Rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. I don't want any. So I'll break out the uh, the ranch. This is probably one of the better ones, Ladies' Choice. That's the name brand ranch dressing. And I got some. I'm not ketchup, but I want to use ketchup for And got some of me this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Yeah, I was telling him, I was just sitting there watching TV and I told her. I said, you know what we should start, you know what we should do next year? Open up a chicken wing and hot dog shop. You know, nothing big. And she said they wouldn't buy it. And I said, why that? And she goes, because they would want it cheap. And she goes, it's, it, it, it wouldn't work out. And I was why, like, you open up there or here? Out there? Why would I open one up here? <laughs> I won't know. No. The only people who can afford to buy that is the office yeah, just, yeah. Teachers. The teachers and the government employees. Yeah, people don't want to pay. They don't want to pay much for food, man. That's why a lot of places here you'll see they'll, they'll give them a kilo of rice and a little couple pieces of meat or a couple pieces of vegetable, and that's it. And they'll pay 60 pesos for it. People don't want to pay. They don't want to pay, man. I guess it's just the way it is, you know. Um, and portion sizes, the, the portion sizes on compared to any other country, the portion sizes are very small. It's just the way it is, you got to deal with it. 
That's why a lot of times we stay at home, you know, it's just ain't, it ain't worth it. A lot of times it just ain't worth it. Yeah, we'll go out, if, you know, I give my old break, I say, hey, let's go out to lunch or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the cost is like, it's low, but you look at it and it's like, it's portion sizes and what you get, you know, they'll give you, oh, they're more than willing to give you a kilo of rice with your meal. But the, the main course, in other words, <laughs> the rice is the main course, and if you get fruits and, and uh, fruits, if you get vegetables and meat, that's your side dish. It's, this is the way it is. I mean, even our fast food place, places like Jolly Bees and McDonald's, they have what they give out, you know, rice. They have people walking around with these big containers and they got a scoop in their hand and they ask if you want more rice. You know what I mean? Unlimited rice. Huh? Unlimited rice. I can't hear you. Unlimited rice. Unlimited. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they give out rice like it's, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. But I think, my personal opinion, I think that's why they have a problem with diabetes and stuff like that is because they eat too much rice. That's, I'm not a doctor, but I just... That's just where I see it. Like, you will see people, and I'm not knocking it, that's the diet, but you will see people eating like a mound of rice with, I haven't, I haven't seen them put rice in their coffee in the morning and looking, I'm like, what the hell are they doing? But that's just what they do, man. Right, Miles? Rice in the coffee? That, that's my breakfast before when I yeah, when but I'm it's, studying in elementary. I get it, I get it, but it's that's kind of weird. Huh. <laughs> I mean, hey, no, I haven't tried it, and I have no desire to try it. No, I'm not knocking, I'm just, my observation of being here for five years, man, just... And, and what, if, you, what, if you have that rice and coffee, I am very happy. Yeah. yeah. But rice in your coffee? Uh -huh. It's just, it doesn't, it's not appealing to me. And who am I? I'm a nobody. I, I get it. You know? But what gets me is, in the past, we would have, you know, we would make up a dinner and have people come, in, come over and they look at it like, 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 like it's covered in flies or something. And you're looking at them like uh, cabbage wool, you know, stuffed cabbage. And uh, what, else, what else have we made it? They kind of look at it and they... Mm -hmm. Huh? You don't know? I can't, I can't hear you, Miles. I said I cannot remember. Yeah, but you know what I mean? And you're like, this stuff's good. You like cabbage, you like beef, or, you know, it's beef. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's the problem here? I, I, just, I just don't get it. All right, man, well, I'm going to go ahead and eat, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hey everybody, how you doing? Now I'm behind you. Well, Chloe's been hanging out since six o'clock this morning. The problem is, it's, it's really humid outside right now. So it took a little bit extra longer for these clothes to dry. Yeah, I, I check them before I, I uh, take them off. It would be very senseless to take them off and they're still wet, right? Well, hopefully your day, your day is going okay. I can't complain, man. They say it's supposed to rain today, but it's supposed to let off, start around, uh, I believe they said either 4 or 5 o'clock. I believe. I don't know. Oh shit. Ugh. That's alright. Yeah, some of these clothes, it's because of the space that we have in our room. I just leave them on the hanger and I hang them up in that little wardrobe thing. Hey. Yeah, I hang them up there. Very, very limited space in our bedroom. Your typical Philippine home. 
space is a, is an issue. But I can't do anything about it. That's just the way the house was built. Yeah, I was told. The, the person that I feel that is hanging around here, you know, in that back bedroom, he's the one that had this house built. And the only surviving family member is a gentleman who lives in Hawaii. <laughs> I guess he had, was, had no interest in coming back to the Philippines. Well, he had no interest in living in Badak. I don't know. Because the last time I heard, he was still in home, still living in Hawaii. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think Miles is spooked about that. Whatever it is in that back bedroom. Miles a little spooked about it. Hey, it's a good thing for me. People don't want to stay here. <laughs> it's a win-win situation, right? And they all and people will tell me, oh this you need to do this and you need to do that. I said, okay, you can pay for it. And they shut up. <laughs> the quick with suggestions, but when it's time to dole out the cash. I ain't got nothing to say. <clears throat> don't bother me, man. I ain't worried about it, you know? You don't F with me. So, I'm good. He has, he has, doesn't, it, because I don't know if it's what it is, really. Hasn't, hasn't threatened anything or done anything vicious or mean. I don't care. You know? Yeah, Miles made that, that chicken strips with french fries. Yeah, she, she cooks an oil once in a while, but she only does that like maybe once a week. She'll do that because she knows it's not healthy. Mouthy, mouthy. Miles is a very health conscious person, but she does like to indulge from time to time, which is, I don't find anything wrong with that. So. Good timing, dear. I get all the clothes off the line and you show up. <laughs> now she's coming in like she's in charge. Is the right on? Yes, ma'am. Coming here like you're in charge. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. You're so helpful. Miles, when she was in grade school, every year she used to get the most helpful, helpful award, didn't you, Miles? Yeah. <laughs> But doesn't surprise me. Unfortunately, Miles is a very kind person, and those people will take advantage of advantage at it, try to manipulate and lie to her to get what they want from her. But see, I'm the I'm the barrier now. I'm the last I'm the last one to make the call. No, no, I don't uh, control her. But when it comes to certain things, I'm the one that says no. And I don't care what they think. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, this is what I was talking about as far as the wardrobe closet. Miles, Miles can't stand it. I really don't like it, but you can't do anything about it. It's kind of like built in. It's made of wood. Well, actually, it's not. That's... It's not, it's not a wood. It's a plywood. Yeah, plywood. Okay. I like, do I like it? No, but you can't do much about it, right? You gotta live with it, you gotta deal with what you have. It's already there. Yep, it's already there. <coughs> yeah, this is the bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> all right, man, I'll talk to you. Well, it's getting that time, and it's getting to that time where I'm gonna close that and call it a day for the video. Mimi's eating. 
the same old, same old. We have to wait until monkey finishes. Then we take her bowl, dump it in a monkey's empty bowl, and she'll eat it. I don't get it. But that's what we have to do. And that's what we have to do. All right, man, I'll go ahead and let you all go. If you got this far, I do, Miles and myself do appreciate it. Yeah, Miles went down that road there. She had a bag of vegetables that she got from the garden and she's gonna give it to a senior citizen that lives down there. Mm, somebody's mad. So I'll go ahead and let you go. And remember, stay happy. Bye for now.